Vinay Dheer from Balduta Institute of Digestive Sciences, Mumbai, India. On behalf of my co-authors, Douglas Adler from University of Utah, Utah School of Medicine, USA, Nantali Pausawasti from Siviraj Hospital, Bangkok, Thailand, Amit Maidev from Balduta Institute of Digestive Sciences, Mumbai, India, and Kek Yu Ho Lawrence from National University Health System, Singapore. The title of our publication is Feasibility of a Complete Pancreatico Biliary Linear EUS Examination from the Stomach. The idea behind the study arose from our experience with training GI fellows in linear EUS. We realized that the trainees put undue emphasis for endoscopic landmarks while performing EUS in order to look for stations. We also encountered a diurnal perforation by one of our trainees. Thus, we wanted to devise a method or a technique which uh, scans the entire pancreaticobiliary system from the stomach so that duodenum needs to be entered only while performing FNA. We also wanted a technique which reduces emphasis on endoscopic stations or landmarks and teaches continuity of anatomy by scope movements. After studying the existing methods and reviewing anatomy textbooks, we came out with three maneuvers. The alpha maneuver in the stomach was designed to give information about the entire pancreatobiliary system from the stomach alone. So it would evaluate the liver hilum, the uncinate and the tail of pancreas in addition to the head and body of pancreas. The sigma and Z maneuvers in the duodenum were minor variations of the existing techniques with emphasis on scope tip movements rather than stations. We call this uh, technique the railroad technique. We tested this railroad technique in 100 patients and we compared the findings from the stomach to those from the duodenum. We found that it is possible to scan the entire pancreatobiliary system from the stomach itself with no loss of diagnostic capabilities. We also found that scanning from the stomach alone reduces the procedure time by almost 50%. The technique did not work well in obese patients and in those with chronic calcific pancreatitis. Our findings could have implications on EUS teaching and training and provide a standardized approach. We are now validating the railroad technique in an international multicenter collaborative trial under the Asian EUS group. Thank you very much.